Here's how I, I lose like, in overtime, lose the Super Bowl. Yeah, the third Super Bowl I've seen them lose. So everybody acts like, oh, it's just a for a given. You'll get to the Super Bowl and win. No, it, it's not. It, it's a different type of hurt. I guess the best way I can equate it, which is why I didn't make too much fun of Lions fans first time you get your heart broken. Mm. Man, it sucks. Man, it hurts. It's bad. After you get it broken a few more times, you learn how to cope and deal with it. And all right, you know. Let's use the breakup analogy. What happened to your team? You were just left at the altar. You got as close to being actually married and wed as you could be. Right. And you were left at the altar. Now, yeah. Now, you know what? Either let's just turn this into a big party because we're all here and the alcohol's paid for. So let's go. The other question was, hey, Lions fans, you watch the game. Who are we kidding? I'm not buying this. I didn't watch the Super Bowl routine. You watched it. And when you watched it, you saw sloppy football. Right. Neither team wanted to put that game away. It went to overtime until someone finally did put it away. As you watched that game as a Lions fan, did you feel like they would have won? Be honest. Watching this Super Bowl was different than previous Super Bowls because you were that close. Did you feel like you would have won the game if your team played? No, I don't. Because the thing is, it and it, it kind of goes back to the long argument we've had for two years. The 49ers controlled the defensive line by rushing four. The Lions weren't able to just rush four. When the Lions rush four, they get torched. So Aaron Glenn constantly dialing up blitzes, dialing up blitzes. You saw what happened in the fourth quarter and in the overtime when the Niners started dialing up blitzes against Mahomes. That's when he picked them apart. That's when all of a sudden he just put on the cape and said, guys, let's go win this thing. But for three quarters, they were containing him. They muddied the waters. They did everything that they could. So based off of what I know about the Lions defense, no. Because Aaron Glenn is not just going to rush four. That's a death sentence against Mahomes. And here's the other thing. Like it or not, for those who are going to say, well, we beat them at the beginning of the year. Guys, there was a big difference last night. The 49ers are the world champions if there was no Chris Jones and no Travis Kelsey playing. When you beat them, those guys weren't there. That is not your fault. That is not your concern. That's a Kansas City problem, not a Detroit problem. But to sit there and say, well, we beat them before, different team. Because Chris Jones just kind of took it over at the end and interrupted two wide-open touchdowns. When the Lions beat Kansas City, they scored 14 offensive points. They also got a pick six, but 14 offensive points. It would have been a bogged-down kind of game. Yeah. Only they'd have Chris Jones and they'd have Travis Kelsey. As much as I'd like to say the Lions would have won that game, they wouldn't have blown that 10-point lead. They just blew a 17-point lead the week before. So I can't in good conscience come on and go, the Lions would have won that game like so many people wanted to proclaim on social media. The reality is you're right, Rico. You would have had to blitz Mahomes because there's no other way for the Lions to get pressure. That is not a winning formula over four quarters. And let's just acknowledge what they are. They're inevitable. Yes. They don't go away. Their defense is special. That's yeah. the headline that not enough people are going to focus on because it's Mahomes and the narrative. That defense was really good. They won multiple road playoff games. They held everybody in check and they closed that game out. The third and five at the end of regulation when they blitzed McDuffie, their best DB. Yep. Blitzed him, got home. Made him settle he for a field the ball goal. Down. Yes, and then Chris Jones, he got the pressure, but it was also a blitz at the end of of the final overtime possession right. for San Francisco. Yeah, I'm sorry. Like, I would have loved to be in that game. I'd much rather be there and be stood up at the altar. I'd much rather be there than losing know, the NFC title it's game. It's but embarrassing. I, I can't do the proclamation thing today. Where well, my team would have won because no. I like them. I I don't no. see it. Honestly, there's probably a team that can say that. It's just not Detroit. It's the Baltimore Ravens. Oh, yeah. The Baltimore Ravens are saying, whoa, 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 whoa. Do you guys remember what happened at their crib on Christmas night? Yeah. It wasn't close. That was embarrassing. That was get your pants pulled down and they in lo- front of all your friends. And they lost the conference title in their own building. Yeah, they and they did. got away from who they were in their own building. They did. And that's what Kansas City makes you do because I yeah. think you forget, you, you stop, like, For the beginning of the game, the Niners didn't care that Mahomes was on the other side. But at the end of the game, everything was based on, but you know Patrick Mahomes is going to get this ball back. How do we beat Mahomes? That that was the problem. They started overthinking, which I think led to the mistake 
in the overtime. It was, well, do we want Mahomes to have the ball twice? As you said, he didn't need it twice. He just needed it once. Mm -hmm. He got it done. You stop being yourself. When they were themselves, they ran the ball. If the Lions would have had that, no, I don't think you're going to rush four. 248 I don't think you rush four and hit home and – it, yeah, Chase Young, the guy you said you didn't need, he was he had a hell of a game last night. Okay? You can make fun of him all you want, but he was out there. Randy Gregory, not a good dude, but last night he was out there making plays. They had Mahomes scrambling. They cut off the passing lanes. They 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 held the running game in check. They were doing everything. Your front four is not that good, which goes back to every draft when I'm like, my God, can Hello? you just draft this person? Can you just draft this person? Give Aiden some help, and now you got something. I want to say they're going to do that, but I've, I've given up hope. I'm wait, not going to say well, that. No, what do you mean? You've given up hope. That they're going to go out and get somebody on the defensive line with a top pick. Because, you know, Holmes just, you know, he's going to keep his receipts. So I don't, I'm not, I'm not going to be a part of the receipts. You draft who you want to draft. You do you, Brad. They are recording right now hi, waiting hey, on you. Hi, Brad. You do you. <laughs> no, see, I don't think that's how we need to approach this offseason. Here's the thing. A, a GM as successful as Brad Holmes is still not above criticism. The bar is even higher now. The challenge is even more difficult now. And you will be scrutinized more now. And if they do ignore the edge pressure opposite Aiden Hutchinson, they will not be able to seal the deal here. Right? I mean, and there's a variety of ways to do it. Trade, free agency, you the draft, but you can't ignore it. You can't be boxed into blitz or or else you can't get home. They can't do that again. So here's what you saw last night. Offense is fun. You got to have defense. And the game was boring to some because it was defense. It was two top defenses battling each yeah. other. It was a battle of attrition. Yes. A game like the Lions and Chargers would have been entertaining. It would have been fun. Everybody would have said, this is a great game. No defense being played whatsoever. You got to be able to stop, folks. The Lions, they, they, it seems like they put a ton of resources in that offense. And that offense is one of the best in, in the NFL. This year, you got to invest heavily into the defense. Two four eight five three nine ninety seven ninety seven. Jim, you're next up. You're on ninety seven one. Yeah, how you doing, Bob? Man, we would have beat anyone, any uh, either team in that game. You know what I mean? We beat Kansas City the first game of the year. We would have easily beat them. We would have scored more easily, than them. We would have got home with four. We we never for the we first time in when five all the time. We hadn't been blitzing all year. We no, 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 Jim, 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 when you weren't blitzing, your defense was getting torched. Then all of a sudden you started blitzing. No, yes. no, that's not true. It is we true. We were great in the red zone. We were Jim, they were the one of the worst. No, hold on. They were one of the worst red zone defenses in the NFL. Just because they're my team doesn't mean I'm going to make stuff up about them, Jim. Come on no, now. No, 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 no. Yes, no, no, yes, yes. Not, we'll pull it up true. right now. We, 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 we all have true. the internet, no, Jim. Weren't. You know what? No. What? What? You know what? We what? Beat Kansas City. We would have beat Kansas. Because City. you want to, or have. because they would have? No, because I know we would have. I've, I've been to hundreds of pro games like that and watched the Lions for fifteen years. Watched them up close and personal. I, I think they would have beat them. Jim, I know you, they would have beat them. Jim, you barely we beat Kansas beat the City. First, the... How did we beat them the first game of the year? Did we? Did we blitz them? The first game of the year? You got to pick okay. six uh, off Kadarius Tony's hands, and he doesn't play anymore. They don't it, allow him to suit up in games anymore. And two of their best players did not play. That's not your fault, but let's not act it like that. It does change the dynamic. They were two okay. really clutch players last night I, in I, the Super Bowl. I, I think I can say for a fact, no Chris Jones, no Travis Kelsey. Chiefs don't win that game. Think of all the plays that those two made the big play. Whether it was a defensive stop, whether it was a catch. Critical you, conversion. Even also, the final touchdown, Kelsey knew, I'm the decoy. Two people chased after him, and he knew it the second he saw both of them. He probably gave him the middle finger and was like, touchdown, bitches, we won. You, and you can also say this, that McDuffie and Sneed weren't playing at the high level they were playing at the end of the season. Great point. Those guys were locked down late in the season. I have but it. You know, th these are your people. No, I have it in front of me right now. Lions red zone defense, thirtieth in the NFL. I get it. I get it. I'm just being mean and making well, stuff no, no, up. No, no the that's the truth. Well, you would have beat both teams. Well, two weeks ago, you had a chance to beat one of those and teams. And didn't. And it hurts. 
I'm not trying to trivialize it. It sucks that they didn't beat San Francisco, but the idea that having blown a 17-point lead to San Francisco, they would have not blown the lead to Patrick Mahomes? No, Jim. I won. I watched hundreds of okay, games, yeah, okay? He, I was about to say, you did, look, I'm going to let you two handle that because nobody, Lord knows, they don't want to hear from me about this because they're like, your team won. They didn't win last night. That Kansas City team was a different team than what you played at the beginning of the year. You won that game. I'm not taking anything away from you winning that game, but that wasn't the same team. You didn't have Kadarius Toney out there, and you had two other people who didn't play. Okay, guys, the Lions (laughs) are close. They're very close. They didn't win the what are you Super Bowl. About, man, I watch hundreds of games. They're very close. This doesn't have to turn into a bash fest. They're very close. And with a good offseason, the Lions can win the Super Bowl. My, okay. We asked for it. Would they have won that game? Your reactions. I, David, I see the clock. It's 97 1. Your people.